Classic movie fans, Rick Nine G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Three Stooges, more specifically about a stooge short that is called Three Smart Saps. Now, this is the 64th stooge short of the Columbia Pictures production line. In case you don't know, I'm going through every single stooge short, starting from number one, going all the way to 190. So this is the 64th. So yes, I've made 63 videos on every single stooge short up to this point. So if you haven't seen those, check out my Rick 9G Three Stooges playlist, and you'll see them all there in order. Bunch of facts, historical information, filming locations, a lot of really cool and fun things you won't want to miss. But let's get to this one. It's one that's a little bit shorter than the others, but I absolutely loved it. The release date is July 30th, 1942, but it was filmed earlier than that, April 7th through the 10th, 1942. Now it's the seventh of 16 stooge shorts that uses the word three in the title. And the film's title is, of course, a play on the 1936 musical comedy film, Three Smart Girls. Now, in this one, the Stooges must get their future father-in-law, who's played by John Tyrell, out of jail. Now, apparently, the father is a prison warden who's been overthrown and put behind bars by the local mafia. Now, the Stooges manage to sneak into the prison and find the soon-to-be father-in-law. And after they find him, the Stooges start snapping as many incriminating photos of the Mafia's party as possible. Now, as a result of this, the real crooks are finally served justice. And Williams is readmitted as warden and the Stooges marry their sweethearts. Now, let me tell you, it is a great one. I don't know if many of you have seen it. I don't know how much they play it on reruns or in syndication. But it is funny. I mean, the beginning with the Stooges and the girls... I mean, it's pretty comical just thinking that there are three girls for the three guys. Now, I'll talk about the girls in just a little bit, but their names are Stella, Mella, and Bella. And I'll tell you what happened in regards to marrying each other. It's pretty funny. Now, as the Stooges are on the way to try to get to prison, they pull all these crazy stunts. They even kick a police officer in the rear end and they try to get arrested, but to no avail. But this shows us some of the filming locations that were used for the exterior scenes, including the one where they kick the officer and even the one where they throw the quote unquote rocks to the glass and it bounces off and hits Mo in the head. Now, as I mentioned, the exterior shots were all shot on the Columbia Ranch, which is owned by Warner Brothers, or Columbia at the time, now by Warner Brothers. I won't go into the history as of what's happening to it now, which is really sad. But if you look at the Stooges as they're approaching the front door of the Smith home, that's what it was called, you could see two residences on the back, and this is on Western Street. Now, when they're on the street kicking the officer in the rear end, you can see that this is Brownstone Street on the Columbia Ranch. And later on, when the boys are in front of the grocery store and they throw the rocks at the glass and it bounces back, hits Mo in the head, that is what is called the facades on Skid Row at the Columbia Ranch. Now, what's possibly my favorite scene in the entire repertoire of the stooge shorts of these years, that is maybe the last 50 shorts that I've looked at. This is my favorite with Curly dancing and cha 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 right and and that tune keeps repeating for a good five or so minutes. I mean that's fairly long non-stop and the dancing continues. They snap photos. Such funny scenes looking at Curly getting his pants sewn back together by Larry, or if we look at Mo, Mo's trying to dance, the boys dance with, he, with each other. You see Bud Jameson appear there as well, dancing with the boys. It's just utter chaos what the guys do perfectly. And some people would say that this is some of the best dancing we've ever seen of Curly. And I would agree. I mean, it's high up there and I think it is just a golden moment. I love to rewind the scenes over and over again. Now, in the scene where Curly runs into the glass window while Mo and Larry are thinking, you can see that this is Curly's stunt double. He's even wearing a bald cap, and this is before he charges through the window or through into the building. It's pretty quick, but if you catch it, it's definitely there. Now, another thing, if you are familiar with I Love Lucy, one of her best friends was Barbara Pepper. She was on the show. She was supposed to appear in the stooge short and was in some photos for the promo of it, but she never appeared in the final cut, which is definitely unfortunate. 
And finally, I mentioned about the girls that married the boys. Well, let's go back to the opening sequence. You see that the boys are paired off with the girls. So Mo is paired off with the woman named Stella. That's very important. Now Larry is paired with a woman named Mella with an M. And Curly is paired with a woman that is named Bella with a B. Now at the end of the short, I thought maybe that, hey, they would think we would forget. But no, this is a big blooper because Mo and Curly, they've switched girlfriends. So now Mo instead marries Bella and Curly marries Stella. Pretty cool. And I don't know how many people notice, but if you really work it through, this is how it happens. Usually, and the easier way to tell is just by looking at the women's hair color and the dresses that they're wearing, which are the same in the beginning of the short as well as during the wedding. Go figure. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. As I mentioned, there's so many different bloopers and so many different types of pieces of information. Some shorts that I've covered have tons of bloopers. Some have no bloopers. Others have tons of facts and little facts. It's just really, really enjoyable to go and take a look at them. Thank you so much for the support. We'll see you all next time. And don't forget everyone, no matter what, no matter what difficulty, no matter what challenge, always stay positive and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to everyone who supports my work on Patreon. David D, Sally N, Gerard D, Greg S, Ricky, Citizen Kane 359, Kevin K, and Vito L. If you wanna appear on this list, don't forget to look at the Patreon description in the link below. Thank you.